Good morning. It is Friday and I'm getting ready to go to the working interview. It's seven o'clock and this is the part of me that's like I should be at home sleeping. Well, actually, I would take Savannah to school because it's raining and come home and sleep. So <laughs> the part of me is saying stay home, you know, look for a job that's off on Fridays or at least doesn't work on Saturdays. Then another side of me is saying girl you better go at least see how the office runs so you can decide then I mean the Friday thing is not an issue and I know I told you guys that before but I don't want, want to work Saturdays at all but it's a better opportunity from what she told me but how will I know if I don't go right if it doesn't work out then I don't have to I can leave at lunch or at the end of the day but I will never know unless I go. So, Michelle, go. Okay, I'm gonna go, you guys. Well, I don't start till eight, so it is not that far from my house, so I don't really have to rush, but I'm going. Okay, I am back from the working interview. I am just taking off my shoes, and she didn't keep me there till five, which was not a bad thing. I was just under the assumption that she was because she said they closed at five. So I was there from eight till noon. I don't know what time it is now. It's a little bit after one. I ran a couple errands. But anyway, it actually went pretty well and she was surprised how much I knew. And the only thing that was hard is navigating a different dental software system. And she's all, oh, you'll get that in time. And she you know she's speaking real positive and she's going over the schedule for next month. I haven't even been officially hired yet. So fingers crossed you guys, hopefully this will work out. And so I will go back there tomorrow. I don't know if I'll be there all day tomorrow. Well. They, their hours tomorrow are eight to three. So it's gonna be busier tomorrow. So I'm not sure if she's going to keep me there till three. If she does, that's fine, you know. If not, then hey, send me home earlier. But I think it's gonna be a positive thing. Only have to worry about one office because you guys know the office that I'm at now, I bill for, well, he has six offices now. I think when I started there, he had four, but I bill for five of them. And the sixth one is taking care of their own billing, which I'm glad because it's a whole different, you know, it's, it's a HMO. So I'm glad they're dealing with that. We're PPO, if any of you know anything about dental insurance billing. So yeah, I'm excited. So I'm just gonna change my clothes because they wanted me to wear black on black on black. So that's what I got on. Pretty much the same thing I wore to the interview. So I'll be wearing black on black tomorrow, but I'll, different variation. I don't want to wear the same exact clothes. You're going to think I'm dirty or something. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to change my clothes and relax and see what I can do. So just sitting here relaxing and look who's here. Tyke's here with me and I am actually catching up on my subscriptions. I am behind on a lot of people with Vlogmas and I came home today and Tyke was like, what are you doing home? And I'm like, um, hello, I do live here. It was because he had planned his whole afternoon out and planning on watching his YouTube video subscriptions <laughs> and playing his video games, whatever. And I didn't completely take over right away. Okay, I thought you were going to say something. I didn't. I let him finish, you know, watching the video he was watching. And then I made him a deal i said okay i'll watch my subscriptions and then then i'll let him watch his um or play his video game or whatever like that and i don't know if i told you guys i think i told you guys but um if you've been watching me long enough you know that i used to be in my room a lot but once i redid the living room i came out because this is now my favorite place in the house and my living room was just like a living space, a couch and a TV. It was like really ugly in here before I decorated it. So now, and actually, I think I also did that because we only have cable in my room and in the living room. So I would let the kids watch whatever they watch out here and I would just watch my shows in the living room. But now that I'm out here, no, I don't let them go in my room. But <laughs> um, I don't know, we'll just have to take turns watching whatever. But of course the queen, gets to watch whatever she wants to watch first. So that's what we're doing now. Shine is at work and Savannah hasn't made it in from school yet. So that's what I'm doing right now. And we have women's Bible study tonight at six o'clock, no, seven o'clock. So gonna do that. 
I'm so excited about this job, you guys. I'm hoping, I mean, I'm not gonna, what's the phrase, count my chickens before they hatch or whatever, but it really does seem like a good, positive thing. And she was discussing, she said, oh, next month, these are the Saturdays you're going to be off. And this is our schedule. She was saying our, me and her, you know, because we're going to be running the front office. And I'm just so excited. I really hope this works out for me, you guys. It'll be a better opportunity. And it was just like so chill today to have to worry about only one office. And, you know, I don't know. It just, it just felt good. I just, I knew what I was doing. I just had to learn. I have to learn a new software. So keep me in your prayers, you guys keep your fingers crossed for me, whatever the case may be that I get this position. And hopefully I will know by the end of the day tomorrow, I hope she doesn't, you know, tell me, okay, we're going to talk about it. And then we'll call you back and let you know. And even if that's the case, you know, maybe they'll let me know soon. Oh, guess who's walking in the door. How are you? Good. Is it cold out there? Not really. That's why you got your jacket in your arm. Are you coming back? Yeah. When? That's not the right time, you guys. That battery in that clock is wrong. Tell everyone hi. Hi. Hey, you look cute. I know. It's not I know. You say thank you. So, how was your day? Good. And I don't know. Tell me something about your life. Anything exciting happened today? Not really. Not really. What did you learn? I don't learn anything. Uh, what am I sending you to school for then? <laughs> better. <the> ball. <laughs> <laughs> well, that too, but you better learn something. Okay, you guys, I'm putting the final coat on the gloss the gloss coat and I know you can see the white streaks and I have to be careful how thick I put that on there because when it dries if I put too much it'll dry white like it did here I still haven't figured out how to take that off I don't want to scrape the cabinets because then I will mess up the other work that I did but at the same time I want to put a lot of gloss on there because that's what protects the color so I'm doing that I've done that side already. I'm gonna do the other side of the cabinets and you guys, when that's done, after 12 hours, I can drill the holes in it and I'm done. I'm so happy. What are y'all doing? We're on our way to Bible study. We gotta go pick up Savannah's friend and we gotta hurry up because it's getting late. Okay, look at this. We're leaving Bible study, but look at your full of Look at your lap. Don't be weird. She is weird. <laughs> Hi, Evie. <laughs> Hi guys, so back home from Bible study and Cheyenne and Savannah are actually at Walmart, I think. Yeah, because Savannah lost her phone charger and we've been sharing mine, but the way I am with my phone charger, because they go through iPhone phone chargers like crazy, because you know how it gets weak at the part where you pull it out. Savannah always, that always gets frayed and she ends up needing another one. So she's been using mine, but I don't take mine off my dresser. I don't bring it around the house. I charge my phone at night by my bed or on my bed and I leave it there. So every time she wants to charge her phone, I'm like, yeah, you can charge it, but you have to leave it there. And I make sure she pulls it out completely. It's not snatching it out of the phone or whatever. So, and I guess she's tired of doing that because she wants to go in her room with her phone or whatever. So she has some money and she's getting a new charger. And Tariq is actually here on the computer. He's putting some music on his iPod. And I'm just sitting here. I'm in my room because he asked me, he said, are you gonna be in the living room? Because remember I was telling you earlier, or I think I was telling you earlier, I don't have, I only have cable in my room in the living room. So I'm like, well, he can finish watching stuff that he, is watching or whatever I'll just watch TV in my room tomorrow I go back for part two of the working interview and I really hope they tell me something after I'm done I mean if they don't it doesn't mean something bad it's just that maybe they're interviewing other applicants I don't know but she made it sound like I already had the job and she made it sound like no one else was applying so 
I don't know. Hopefully things will work out and hopefully they will let me know tomorrow and then I can let you guys know tomorrow. So that would be a good thing. It was so cool today. It was so stressless and I know there are going to be days. There's always days in the dental office even before when I work for, you know, not having to bill for, a, you know, five offices. You know, you get stressful days because you get that patient that you want to jump over the counter and wring their necks <laughs> or whatever like that. You have a bad day at any job, whatever. But it was just so chill. So I really hope I get that. I know I've said it like 12 times today, but I really do.